The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the new SNMP Table Monitor in WhatsApp Gold 23.1. From the Monitors Library, we can now add a new active monitor called SNMP Table Monitor Template. The reason for naming this as a template is that this monitor will not be applied directly to a device, but rather to a role. It will act like the existing interface monitor and when configured correctly will dynamically add SNMP monitors to a device. For example, if you have a device with five fans, rather than having to manually create and add five individual monitors, which is the case in previous versions, we will be able to configure this monitor to dynamically configure a monitor for each instance. First, we'll give the monitor a name and a description. We can opt to check the Use in Rescan option. This can be used in conjunction with the Rescan Device option, apply the Use in Rescan options for active monitors and when ran against the device, we'll check for any applicable monitors not already applied to the device and add them. And we can adjust the timeout and retries if necessary. Under monitoring conditions for status OID, we can browse the specific device for the OID. For the purposes of this example, we'll configure the template to add a monitor for each interface on the device in a specific status. First, we'll browse to the IF entry table under interfaces and select the IF upper status. This tells us if the interface is up or down or in a different state. We can see the various statuses in the description. In this case, we can see that one is up, two is down, and three, the device is in a testing mode. Once we select the IF upper status, the OID and instance get populated as seen here, and we can then click select to continue on with configuring the monitor. Next, we will select an operator from the drop-down list. In this example, we will select is one of, and we will add in one and three. We can hit enter on the keyboard to confirm each value, and then select the option for up for monitor state if condition is true. Here we are saying that if the upper status is either one or three, then the monitor should be considered up. Next, we can enter the comment OID, which is an optional field. This helps to create a name for the IF entry, and as seen here, we use the IF description. This will give the monitor name a more meaningful description. It will take the description, which we can see under interfaces in the device inventory, and it will add it to the name of the monitor as seen in this example. Next is the index OID, which is also optional. This takes the IF index entry as seen here, and it can be seen in the interfaces section of the device inventory and also as the argument under monitors. And the last section is for discovery conditions, which is also optional. This allows us to specify which instances actually get discovered. For example, here we can specify that only interfaces with the IF admin status of up get discovered and added to the device. Or perhaps we want to only discover interfaces with certain speeds. We can then create the monitor when the value matches or doesn't. Once the monitor has been configured, we can save it and then add it to a role. Remember, the monitor template must be added to a role and cannot be added directly to a device. In this example, we will add the monitor to the WLC primary role. We will then rescan an existing WLC. And once the scan is complete, we can see the new monitors that have been dynamically added. Another example we can look at is creating an SNMP table monitor for Cisco fans. Again, we'll check the use and rescan options for this example. Then we'll enter the status OID for the fans. In this example, we can see there are two fans on this device, so we should expect two monitors to be created. Next, we'll say is one of one. So the monitor should be considered up if the status is one. We'll set the comment OID for the status description as seen here. And the discovery condition will be the status OID that is greater than zero. This will create a monitor for any fan whose state is greater than zero, meaning that even if a fan is down, the monitor will still get created. We'll then create a similar monitor for the Cisco power supply, which we know there is only one of on this particular device and then add both table monitors to the switch role. We could also add them to the sub role if we wanted. 
we can now run a refresh of the device or a rescan without selecting any options. Once the rescan or refresh is complete, we can now see three monitors assigned to the device as expected. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this training.